don't you know I'm strong enough? I'll be breaking bars. I'll be making change. I can write the words. I will write the way without you. So I grew up around music. My mom is a musician and my dad was the songwriter in a band back in his 20s and he played the drums so I've always been exposed to it I mean my grandparents used to listen to jazz a lot and I used to have that in my ear my mom was very much into musicals and um, you know people like Carole King and my dad was into the Eagles and my mom liked Fleetwood and it was something that I was always exposed to, whether it be the performance side of it and performing myself and, and, and watching others perform or whether it be listening to music constantly in the car or back at home. So from then it just came naturally to me to start learning instruments. I went through lots of different instruments. I tried, I tried the violin, I tried the recorder. Um, I think I even tried the drums at one point. And at the same time, I was always playing the piano. My mum taught me to play the piano from a really young age. So that was just an instrument that came to me. I was born with that kind of in my hand. Um, then I realized that I enjoyed singing far more than my friends enjoyed singing, for example. And so I started to study the voice and that led on to me starting to write songs with the voice and piano. And then I went to university and studied music at university and bought myself a guitar and wanted to learn the guitar. I correct myself, my parents bought me a guitar and um, I wanted to teach myself. So then that instrument became the predominant instrument in my songwriting. Um, whilst living in London, doing my degree in music, I was totally exposed to the elements of the industry as it is at the moment and so I kind of just fell into the industry. I gigged a lot professionally from the age of 15 onwards but then performing and writing my own songs and, and, and pushing those forward only started to happen um, probably when I was about 20 years old. So that's kind of how I, I fell into the industry um, and I say I fell into it because it became such a natural thing for me to do. I surrounded myself with like-minded people and that helped me to excel and to accelerate into, into where I am now. So Ride the Waters is, it's an anthemic song really and I wrote it at a point in my life where I had this epiphany and I was allowing other people to almost determine and to give me the go ahead as to whether I could dress a certain way, whether I could have my hair a certain way, you know, the, the lyrics I was writing, the music I was writing, um, the language I was using. It was all something that I felt like I had to go to someone else to give the go-ahead before I could continue on with that approach in my life and I just reached this epiphany and thought enough is enough and if anything this approach that I'm having with these people is stumping my growth as opposed to helping me and lifting me and helping me grow more so this song represents that realization really and um, I hope that other people are finding their own realizations through what I've written really so yeah so each song represents a different period in my life so every single song represents something different from each other um, if I'm wrong for example that song basically is my message to the music industry I met so many people in the music industry that have made me feel like I'm not enough or what I'm doing isn't gonna push me further and I'm not gonna be able to grow as an artist. And this song was my message to those people in the industry, but then also to the industry as its own character because it's a really tough industry to be in and 
you have to make sure that you don't get sent into these little dark places that you can fall into because there's so much competition out there but there's so much diversity so we have to remember that we have to remember there's no artist is the same no sound is the same no voice is the same so we all have something to offer and as long as we remember that then we will excel and we'll grow and we'll build on what we are now and what we want to be in the future this is such an important aspect of music for me and as being a songwriter a part of my role is to create a connection with somebody else i mean i write music for my own therapy i write music to reconnect with myself to understand my own life events and also to understand other people's life events but i think that as well as creating a connection for yourself you need to be able to connect with somebody else i mean that's what music is music is a relationship from one listener to the other or a relationship from the writer to the music it's about it's all about connection and i think my job as a songwriter is to be able to write something that not only supports me but supports others at the same time um my that's one of the favorite things about live music for me is when i perform live that is my opportunity to stand or to sit and watch how what I've created can make a connection between myself and, stra and a stranger, someone I've never met before. Um, and I think music is such a powerful tool that I don't think anyone could write a song that couldn't result in some form of, of um, mental and emotional connection between the song and, and, the, and the listener. I mean, my motivation is people, the people who listen to my music and the people that get respond to me and contact me and say, Francesca, I heard this song that you wrote uh, or I saw you live the other night and I just wanna say that song, that particular song, connected with me in a certain way and helped me to get over a, a certain life experience that I've had or it's helped me to realize something in my life. Um, I think that people is a major, is something that motivates me immensely when I write songs. Um, and the strength that we've all got, especially at a time like this, the amount of strength that people have shown and demonstrated during this pandemic is unbelievable. Um, but music's a medicine and I think that, like I say, it's one of the most powerful tools that we have at our disposal. It heals and that's what my motivation is and it, it brings people together. It's a medicine, it heals and it, it brings us all together. It creates us as one. So Ride the Waters, this track, it was recorded and produced by James Wyatt, who is an engineer back up in the north of England at Slow Flower Studio. So Slow Flower Studio is an independent record studio um, run by James. And the production behind this particular song, just like the other tunes on the EP, it, I wanted it to have something that I had in common with James and with the band is that we all wanted it to have this live organic feel. I didn't want it to feel manufactured. I didn't want it to feel overproduced and nor did the band, nor did James. So that was amazing that we all had the same idea and we were able to, re we were able to create that really. Um, this song in particular, Ride the Waters, is probably the punchiest song that I've ever written. And we wanted that to come across, not only in the instrumentation, but in the tone that James has produced the song through. So I think that that really delivers in this song and you can hear it when it plays, that there is a slight energy in this song that doesn't fall into the other tunes quite as much. Um, yeah. The boys and I, the band and I, had the most incredible experience up at Slow Flower Studios with James. As well as being a very, very skilled engineer and producer, and a musician himself. 
on top of all of that, somehow he was able to create such a safe and calm and welcoming space where in a lot of other um, environments, you can feel quite vulnerable and quite scared really. And for myself, I can feel very, very nervous and on edge when I'm in a studio. Um, but working with James, that didn't happen once. So on top of just having the skill that he has as an engineer and a producer, he was able to bring the best out of us all because he knew exactly how to keep us happy and how to really tap into kind of our calm place in our mind and when we were at our calmest and at our most relaxed and at our most comfortable we performed the best so um, yeah it was such a good experience. Um, so my, my musical influences have changed and grown um, over the years really. As of now, my main influences would be um, Joni Mitchell, Lucy Rose, Carole King, uh, Tom O'Dell, like his, his four to the floor on the piano, that's just incredible. As a performer, he's unreal. And more recently, people like Billy Martin and uh, Ferris and Sylvester, who are an upcoming, actually not really upcoming, they are, they're there really. Um, they are a rock duo, rock pop, indie folk duo. There's kind of everything in there, in there together, a bit of blues in there as well. Uh, yeah, so I have quite a few influences really, but and I'm sure that over time I'll add more to the list or there might be a certain album that I hear from a band that I don't normally listen to and it'll inspire me to write something slightly different. Um, yeah, so my influences are always changing and growing and, and shifting. But at the moment, they are my main influences. There's so much more to follow after this. I mean, I've already started writing for the next the next record, the next project that we that we do. And of course, I'm putting so much energy into promoting the two singles that have come out and putting energy into pushing and promoting the EP that's going to be coming out in the summer. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to come. We want to tour once we can go outside again and once we can go to live events again. We, we want to start touring with this current EP that's going to be coming out. And then from then on, we're just going to want to release more music, do some festivals, try and get some slots in different places, hopefully spread our wings a bit more and, and head to the EU, pop over the water um, and take it from there, really. Well, people can find me anywhere and everywhere, really. My official website, francescalouisemusic.com, if you go on there, then the main socials that I spend most of my time on are linked on that first um, first landing page. So you can just head to francescalouisemusic.com and choose whichever social media um, platform you tend to use, and I'll be on there. I can guarantee I'll be on there. But I mean, I'm on Bandcamp, I'm on YouTube, I have SoundCloud, I still put things on SoundCloud for people who don't have Spotify or don't have iTunes or anything like that. And then I'm on all the streaming sites. So if you type in Francesca Louise or Francesca Louise Music into your search engine, then I can guarantee, I'm 100% sure that you will, you will find me, you will find me somewhere. Without you, my love Don't you know I'm strong enough I'll be breaking bars I'll be making change